Welcome back to this new inspirational video. Today I wanted to go over a quote by Emmett Fox, and he said the following. You can have anything in life that you really want, but you must be prepared to take the responsibilities that go with it. God is ready the moment you are. God being the spirit behind all of creation. That spirit within yourself, within your physical self, you could say, that is inspiring you to go into a better direction with your life. So the quotation is very important because everybody has dreams, but not everybody achieves the same dreams. If we carefully analyze why that is so, then Emmett Fox's quote is actually pretty useful. You can have anything in life that you really want, but you must be prepared to take the responsibilities that go with it. Now, what does that exactly mean? Well, it means that any dream you have will ask of you a certain amount of activity. It means that you have to behave in a certain way. For example, if you want to be a music producer, there's no point in sitting at home never producing the music. If you want to be a writer, there is no point in sitting at home never writing the book. And on and on it goes. Basically what we come down to is that we have to be able and willing to do what is necessary in order for our dreams to manifest. What is holding most people back? It's usually their comfort zone and their old belief system, their old ideas of what is possible for them. We want to be careful of that and we want to analyze it for ourselves so that they align with what we want. So in my case, I had to change a couple of belief systems around myself. I had to be willing to do the work that needs to be done in order for me to express what I actually see in my imagination. If I want to make inspirational videos, I have to be willing to pick up the microphone or to stand in front of the camera at times or sit, it doesn't really matter, but the point being to actually talk about the mind in this case. There can be inspirational videos about all sorts of subjects, but in my case I focused it on consciousness itself. What held me back for many years was the idea that I was too young, or that people might find the ideas a little too strange, and then I would never take the responsibilities that go with actually living such a lifestyle. These days, obviously, I do go along and I take up the responsibilities that are laid upon me, but I do have to be very mindful that I do it in a very relaxed sort of flow. So we also don't want to stress ourselves out over manifesting our dreams or feel like we have to work on it like crazy because that's not really going to be useful either. It's only going to give you a mental breakdown if you don't watch out. So you can have anything in life that you really want. In your case, you can have anything in life that you really want. But you must be prepared to take the responsibilities that go with it. God is ready the moment you are. This is very true. God being the universe, you could say, the moment you are ready to take action on your dream, the moment you truly feel that you are ready to do it, that you're capable of doing it, that you believe you can make it happen, that is when the universe helps you through all the inspired ideas and resources you need. It will bring them to you. But then you also at the same time have to always be in a place that you're willing to do what is necessary in order to express the very things you're inspired and compelled to do. If you are willing to live like this, then more and more of your dreams will become a reality. Analyze it very carefully. Look at the people around you that aren't living their dreams. We aren't looking at them to feel sorry for them. We're only looking at people and ourselves in order to learn more about our potential and I can honestly say this is something that I've seen many times with other people I've known some people in private that for many years they had the dream they would tell me about their dreams but they didn't have the responsibility to do what needed to be done they would tell me I would love to do this that would be cool I think I'm going to do this and then perhaps months or even years later they still haven't taken action on their dream that is no joke. In some cases, it's now years later that I see them act on their dream and now they're taking the responsibilities that go along with them expressing the dream they always held inside their minds. You're going to have to analyze for yourself whether you're doing that. And if not, ask yourself, why is that? Why am I holding back? What's stopping me? And you're going to find all sorts of potentially limiting thoughts and feelings and beliefs that are the cause of all this well, you not really taking responsibilities. So if you can analyze yourself in that manner and shift it around, you're going to have to reach a place where you know and feel that you can achieve your dream because God gave you the dream to begin with 
That should give you the power you seek in order to make great things happen. That's what we want to understand. So with me over the years, that's exactly where I grew. First being full of doubts and worries. And then as I kept analyzing myself and thinking about it, I realized what other people are doing so I can do it as well. I have the power in me that could help me achieve it. This much I do know. I've been studying the mind for long enough to know that that is the truth. So why am I holding back? And then I realized I had all these petty ideas in my mind, these beliefs and limitations that were holding me back. So I couldn't take the responsibility that was asked of me in order to express the sort of dream that I was dreaming of realizing for myself. Now, if you're at such a spot in your own life, which more often than not, it really happens to most of us, unless we've been a very serious student of the mind and experimented long enough with this power, we're going to have to be honest with ourselves and we're in a way confronted by this very thing. You can have anything that you really want in life, but you must be prepared to take the responsibilities that go with it. This is not difficult. This is very simple. You know what sort of responsibilities are asked of you in order to realize your dream. And you're going to have to be the one that's going to zoom in on those responsibilities and make great stuff happen. Don't be afraid of doing it. You have that power within you that can help you make it happen. It's like Emerson once said, do the thing and you'll have the energy to do the thing. You just have to start. You just have to take that first step, get into action. You know what your dream is. It's been burning inside of your soul for so long. You know how great it would be if it were a reality and you want it to become a reality. Now let it become so. Let it become a reality with and through you. Become the instrument of your own redemption. Redeem yourself from that life where your dream was always just a dream inside your mind. Redeem it so that it may become a reality and then you can enjoy it together with your friends and family. That is ultimately where the real joy of living comes in, when you are able to freely express who you really are and what you really desire. Because those desires are meant to make your physical life more enjoyable, so don't downplay them. Don't feel bad over having them. That is some conflict in spiritual teachings many times where we think we have to get rid of desires. I think you could say we should get rid of negative desires if we even want to call them that. But we want to just simply measure, is my dream something that would hurt others, yes or no? If the answer is no, then go for it. If you know, well, if I go for this dream, it's so destructive, it's, it's going to hurt so many people. Well then, obviously, you're better off not doing it unless you want to get into all sorts of troubles for yourself along the road. It's really that simple, at least to me it is, to analyze it from that angle. And I suggest you do exactly that for your own life. So as Emmett Fox said, you can have anything in life that you really want, but you must be prepared to take the responsibilities that go with it. These responsibilities are already in your awareness. You're already aware of what you're supposed to be doing all the time, but we're not going along with it all the time. That's the issue. There's a gap between what we know and what we do. We have to close that gap. You know what you want. You also know what you should and could be doing at times. It happens all the time, every day perhaps, but regularly you notice that, that you're inspired to do something about your dream. Are you then also doing it or not? And if not, ask yourself, why is that? And then you're going to figure out that there's all sorts of limiting ideas and, and thoughts that are holding you back. Change those around. Change your focus. Focus on what you want instead and then let yourself grow to watch it. Have faith, have trust that the universe has your back and is guiding you in the right direction. If you do that, your life will change around for the better. If you don't, you're going to stay stuck. It's really that simple. That's all that's asked of us to do. Even Neville Goddard would say it. If you imagine the end, you're going to have to do what that end suggests, what your own dream suggests. He didn't say it in that manner exactly, but in his book, Awakened Imagination, he did briefly mention that, and I underlined it years ago, and I sort of memorized it, and I really found that powerful, because I can imagine the end of my desire. I can see within my imagination what I really want. 
but then it's also a question of am I living up to that state? Am I doing what that state implies, that dream implies? Ask yourself the same question. Are you doing what your dream implies you that you should be doing in order to live your own dream? So at the start, as I said, a musician, a music producer can dream of being a musician, but are they actually working on making the music? And same for writing, same for making movies, same for being a content creator online, same for starting your own business. You can have all these wonderful dreams, but are you doing what needs to be done in order for that dream to become a reality as well on the physical side of life. Now this all happens automatically, technically, if your mind is in harmony with your dream and that's what we're after. But at some times in our lives we're also going to be confronted with this. We're going to have to analyze it to make it easier to actually take the responsibilities and make the decision that yes, I'm willing to do whatever is necessary to do in order for me to realize my dream. And once you reach that point, stuff starts to happen. You'll start seeing results. You'll start seeing your reality change around into the direction of what you always most desired. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.